Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve or remove this app is preventing shutdown message on your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before we begin this tutorial, I would just first, if you're only coming across this issue on once or every so often, I would suggest just considering not following this tutorial and just closing out of any open programs you have because the purpose of this notice is to prevent you from accidentally shutting down your system which could have unsafe data or whatever programs are being abruptly shut down incorrectly. So there is a purpose for this notice but if you just want to bypass it for whatever reason you might have a really stubborn application or program or maybe you just don't care. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to turn that off. So pretty straightforward process guys and we're going to jump right into it and we are going to have an option to restore our computer back at the end of this too. There will be a backup we're going to make so even if you decide to change your mind later you can easily revert this. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with the result of registry editor. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you are prompted with a user account control screen, select yes. And now, like I said before we begin, we are going to create a backup. So if anything went wrong, we could easily restore it back at a later date. And in order to create the backup, you would select the file tab and then export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. File name, date that you're making the backup is what I would normally suggest in most cases. And export range should be kept to at all. And if you ever need to import it back in, you would just select file and then import. So pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and double click on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the control panel folder. And then finally, there should be a desktop folder. Just go left click on that one time. So now on the right panel here in a blank area, you want to right click, select new, and then select D word 32 bit value. For this value here, you want to call it exactly how it appears on my screen, so you want to call it auto end task, and that's plural, so the first letter of each word should be capitalized, no spaces in here, so again, auto end task. Hit enter on your keyboard to save that, and now double click on it. In this value data field, delete the zero, type the number one, make sure base is hexadecimal first, and then type the number one in the value data field, select OK. And once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of the registry editor. You have to restart your computer in order to save the change. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.